And with that, I have finished possibly the best quest in RS history. That has been such a ride, guys. I mean, the graphics one thing, the storyline another, and thirdly, the revelations, which I'm not going to reveal. But uh, yeah, I think that is done. Hopefully, come on. And indeed, it is done. Okay, so the main thing that we're going to do is to uh, fight these ancient memories and try and get the tier 85 gloves that we can review. But what a quest that was, damn. Well worth doing to be able to fight the creatures and possibly get the gloves and possibly make bank. These are the creatures guys, you can easily teleport them, teleport to them from the world gate. I believe it's called the ritual site, that's the place within Freneske. And they're literally called Nightmare, 35k HP, uh, weak to earth spells. I killed about 126 of these nightmare creatures, didn't get the gloves. Managed to bite for 19 mil though, which is not too bad at all. Although I think it will go up, so I might try to merge it or something. Let's see what happens. Well, that prediction kind of fell flat on its face, kind of. Actually, it felt very flat on its face. I think they're under 10 mil now or something as I'm making this video. But nevertheless, let's actually go ahead and review them because that's the point of this video. So what do they do? They only have two properties, really, apart from their stats. First, they will allow you to use the snipe ability, the basic ranged ability whilst moving. And two, and I believe this is by far and away the most interesting and useful property property of these gloves. They give you a 25% increased accuracy when using snipe. And uh, let's have a look at what this actually means. So if you have a look at the hit chance formula. Well the hit chance formula says that hit chance is determined by your accuracy times the affinity of the boss monster divided by their defense. Now they're all made up of several different parts each but the main thing I want to focus on is that because because the sniper ability with these gloves on increases your accuracy by 25% that basically means your hit chance is increased by 25% as well because it's a 1.25 times multiplication rather than a 25% flat increase. To put it into perspective, with this ability, anything you would have had a hit chance of 80% on or above will be increased to a guaranteed hit chance. That is to say 100% hit chance with this ability. And this actually comes in very, very handy from a practical point of view at various different bosses. So I'm going to start off with the rots. First things first, I got to say thanks to Hasagi who actually reintroduced me to rots because I hadn't done it for about a year and... Uh, uh, yeah, everything had changed by then. I mean, the tactics had changed mainly. Not everything, but the tactics had changed and it took a lot of adjusting. But uh, I finally figured out why the snipe ability is possibly one of the best abilities here with these gloves and why these gloves are so useful in terms of rots. The main reason is that you're always running around, of course, and uh, when you're running around, you want to make sure you don't have to stand anywhere whilst using abilities, especially the snipe ability. So that's the main thing. The fact that you can move while sniping here is very very useful. I gotta say though I haven't really been <laughs> following the best sort of strategies here because I believe the best strategy here especially when you can clump brothers together melee brothers together and war carol and things like that is to use mechanized chin chompers but unfortunately I didn't have an offhand ascension so I couldn't really do that and I didn't really allow my friend to do that either because I was really bad at walking and when I tell you I'm bad I actually mean it. I'm one of the people in the world where if I'm bad at something it takes a lot of effort to make me good at something and uh, believe me I was bad at this and I let my whole team down. Damn it guys I'm sorry. But anyway back to the point. For those of you who are actually good at this you'll find this ability very useful and these gloves very useful as well. First of all for the fact that you can move like I said and second of all it's a guaranteed hit. And that is because, if you have a look at the numbers, the hit chance numbers for Rots, it's one of the tankier boss in RuneScape, almost on par with the Akamaru, without any boosts, and with just the boosts you can see on screen. So Snipe will increase your accuracy to 87%, but obviously most people will use a Nihil, Reaper Necklace, and an Accuracy Aura, Supreme Sharpshooter for Reckless, and that will guarantee a hit with Snipe. Why is this useful? Well, mainly it's useful because you're under time pressure a lot of time at Rots, Especially when you need to kill a brother and you've got like one second left, you want to have an ability you can rely on. Obviously, ultimate abilities give you a 25% increased hit chance and they will also do the same thing, such as Onslaught or Deadshot, for example. But uh, it's good to have a basic ability which does the same thing. So that's one of the advantages of it, as well as being able to walk. And uh, yeah, 
Rots is really awesome with these gloves. Next up is Legios. Now this is a really good boss to use the gloves at, mainly because you're going to be running around literally all the time and being able to snipe whilst moving is pretty much the best thing you could ask for at this boss because one people only range this boss and two you will keep running around a lot especially if you're me and I am also bad at this boss because I don't really I try to I try to work with the mechanics of sort of clicking far away and then clicking close and all that stuff but I find it kind of hard to <laughs> kind of hard to get to grips with it so uh, if you do that then you don't really need to be able to rely on the walking mechanic of snipe but if you're like me and you just run around the room then snipe is awesome here not that you use the 25% bo accuracy boost here because the accuracy is pretty much 100% all the time uh, so with the same boosts as before your normal accuracy without snipe without the gloves is 114.92% and snipe will increase it to uh, 143% and with all the boosts it will go to 170% which basically means you'll hit all the time so that's not really a problem here but it is a nice little ability to be able to use here because snipe is one of the highest damage dealing basics in the game probably after corruption shot and corruption blast and possibly on par with dragon breath although dragon breath you can move whilst using it but if you're a lower level and you're doing this to sort of say on your iron man or something or just to get some money or get your own ascensions or something then you're likely to be using lower tier tier weapons and having lower tier stats so uh, with the following you will have a 97.71 chance of hitting and with these gloves your chance will go up to 122% which basically means your chance of hitting will go up from almost guaranteed to guaranteed which is nice as well if you're a lower level but apart from that the gloves are pretty good here only for the snipe moving ability. Solo next is also another option to use these gloves at. Again it is one of the tankier bosses in the game and being able to guarantee guarantee a snipe hit is very very useful when you're soloing especially after blood phase which is when you switch to your ranged gloves and boots because before then you probably using melee I believe melee gloves and boots so that she doesn't MD you but after blood phase onwards it's very useful I really do not do solo next so please don't judge me or please don't try to learn anything from this clip because it is absolutely atrocious but I can say that snipe did hit and if you do your pre-phasing properly then snipe will guarantee a pre-phase hit and if you're sort of like under time pressure and you really need to get it down to 80k before it siphons then snipe will guarantee you a hit again with all the boosts that you can see even without a couple of those boosts even with just a sharpshooter you will be guaranteed a hit with snipe so that's pretty awesome and it can come in handy when you're trying to sort of clutch something Apart from the points I just made, there is a lot of potential to integrate Snipe into a really rigorous Nex attack rotation because Nex is a boss which is very very predictable and a lot of people actually know their rotations inside out in terms of every single ability they can use in what order and when to time it and things like that. So there is a lot of potential at this boss especially to be able to integrate Snipe in a much more useful way after these gloves have come out and I wouldn't be surprised to see a few more records solo records maybe even at rots as well purely because of the fact that you got boosted accuracy with these gloves which would make them more reliable makes range more reliable and well people do ranged only solos at next anyway but there may be a case for people ranging things more because of these gloves and one of the bosses where that may actually be the case is the Raxor. I know a lot of people melee it and a lot of people mage it for the fang chance melee for the increased speed and range really has gone out of fashion for a while now it used to be the way to kill a rax or back in 2014 maybe early 2015 but with these gloves there may be a case for it especially high in rage of rax so i'll tell you why because snipe will guarantee you a hit with these gloves as you can see here 102.78 percent hit chance without any boosts except the anguish supreme overload and tier 90 i can see a very good use for these gloves at araxel at high and rage which is healing from the web shield or from the mirror back the fact that you can rely on a heal like this is very very useful for example a lot of people rely on telos's smash ability having a hundred percent hit chance on them to be able to heal at high and rages with resonance and this is another possible use of these gloves so that you can basically heal back everything and nihil only kills will be much easier at 300 percent in rage 
But apart from that, the only other use I can really see from these gloves is on a rack C rather than on a rack saw. And uh, that is when if you're, say, running around the room and you still haven't got that rack side pet, which I believe is not the case with most of you guys watching, is it? I'm probably one of the few people with as much KC as I've got who still hasn't got the base pet. And uh, running around is still an option. If you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, basically I'm at 1.6 something K or rack saw and I haven't got the base pet. And running around the room on P4 when the acid is out will increase Araxor's enrage very very quickly and uh, this is one way to sort of maximize your pet chance at the end of the kill and being able to snipe while doing this whilst also having a guaranteed hit on snipe is very useful but that's an extremely niche application of this abilities and these gloves. I wouldn't look into that too much but I can't imagine people ranging Araxor too much even despite these gloves realistically because of the value of the Araxi's eye as compared to the other two so yeah rip a raxel to round this off let's compare it to some of its opposition or rivals two common options for ranged power gloves are the swift gloves and the ascension grips now the ascension grips last the longest both the swift gloves and the ascension grips degrade to dust but the ascension grips last 100k charges compared to the swift gloves 15k granted that the swift gloves actually last a lot longer than 15k would sound because they degrade a bit differently but they both degrade to dust that's the main thing whereas the nightmare gauntlets don't degrade to dust and they last 60k charges which are around in the middle they're about 10 mil right now they're dropping so it may be reduced by the time you see this video and the grips are 6.7 mil in the ge but they're probably dropping right now because of these gauntlets as well. The main problem with the Swift Gloves is that they require 25 Dominion Tower bosses to get a new pair and you need 500 bosses to unlock them in the first place as well. Having a look at the stats though, the Swift Gloves don't have any offensive stats but the Nightmare Gauntlets and the Ascension Grips are pretty much the same in terms of the offensive stats but obviously the Grips are slightly better in terms of armour and they've got a prayer boost as well which is negligible. However, However, the thing that's going to separate the two gloves, the two main gloves now, the Swift Gloves versus the Nightmare Gauntlets, is the fact that the Swift Gloves have an inherent special ability which on average increases your basic ability damage by 1.25%. However, it does not have any offensive ability damage bonuses as you saw. But the Nightmare Gauntlets have a plus 13 ability damage bonus. So what does this equate to? Well, let's have a look. My ability damage with the Supreme Overload and the Noxious Longbow is at 442 right now. At 118 strength and 118 range, shall I say. But uh, if I put on these Gauntlets, it will go up to 461. So that's essentially a 4.31% increase in ability damage. But that's putting it really crudely. I don't really want to go into massive amounts of death like I did with my Status Warhammer review video. So uh, just wanted to give you guys an idea there. As you put on more armor and more bonuses to your ability damage, that difference is going to get smaller and smaller. It's only because the Swift Plus don't have any offensive damage bonuses. So in my opinion, a 1.25% damage increase to your basics from the swift gloves is far inferior or shall i just say inferior to the nightmare gauntlets alongside all the things that the swift gloves requires and in, in terms of how many times you need to replace it so about three or four swift gloves per nightmare gauntlets and a nightmare gauntlets not degrading to dust only costing 150k at 99 smithing to be repaired from zero percent and also how easy they are to obtain and their snipe gains basically. I would say the swift gloves are not the way to go. The nightmare gauntlets definitely are the way to go as long as you're using snipe as many times as you can. Especially in a bossing scenario. So uh, yeah guys that's about it for this analysis. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful and if you have any questions or comments or suggestions please leave them below again it took me a long time to make this video so a like would be very very much appreciated and uh, subscribe if you want to see any more similar videos because uh, there will be more coming out in the future